Hey y'all, uh, my name is Jesse, and this is Superior State Outdoors. For those of you who know me, welcome back. We're out of another glorious camp. Uh, this one's a little different than some of the others we've done. This one here is at a local campground, but it's unknown. Not a lot of people know about it. Look at this. Buried amongst the cedars and pines. This one's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to be spending the night here. One nighter. Got everything set up already, as you can plainly see. There's no picnic table here, so we'll be using that. Be great. Got a little fire pit back there. Got our wood. And you all know the beautiful pole molly stove hut 72.0. It's all set up. Things are going to be a little bit different on this camp. I'll flip it around and show you why. They are lantern poles. They will not go into this hard ground. I had a hell of a time beating these in. Oh, just a hell of a time. As you can see, some of them are still hanging up a little bit. That's for the whole thing. So pulling them out tomorrow, ooh, -hoo, that is gonna be rough. You can see I had to just put them in a little bit. Anyways, so since I can't put the uh, lanterns in, yeah, since I can't put the lanterns in the way I want, I'm just gonna set them on the ground. I'm gonna set the little ones right here by the poles. And we'll put the big one over there. On the other side over here. I'm gonna stick it over there. The ground is really hard, so. That makes it uh, a little difficult for the fancy stuff, but we will get it done. We always do. Right now, let's go explore this little campground. It's gorgeous. This is the site right here I was going to take, but it's so rocky. This place is gorgeous. There are bathrooms up there, right by the main office. Bathrooms and a shower, believe it or not. I'm curious what's on top of this hill. <laughs> oh, I'm sure curiosity gets you all to sometimes. Look at these beautiful rock outcroppings. I'm curious, so I'm going up. Oh, I made it to the top. It's that side I was thinking about getting. It's down there. Look at this. It's a big cliff. It goes straight down. Way down. It drops here. Then it drops again. Way down. I love the smell of cedars and pine. Mm, I love that smell. I'm sure you do as well. Now we're just going to relax and enjoy this day. Oh, look at there. Some deer pawing up the moss. Maybe I'll see some deer tonight. Oh, they got little hiking camps too. Look at back there. A little fire pit back there and everything. So you can take your backpack and just literally backpack up in here. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Site 29. Let's go on over and take a peek at that, eh? Ah, here's Site 25. Right there. Huh? Big old cliff down there. It is spooky looking in here. I love it. Let me turn this thing around. I mean, look at this. Looks like one of them old stories, right? The old witch lives up in here somewhere. <laughs> Look at that. It's all like this. Kind of spooky looking, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> Definitely do. Hey, oh, geez, a little squack. Oh, you little bugger. I scared him, he scared me. Look at that. Oh, now you can yell at me. Don't be throwing nothing at me now. Knock it off. <laughs> little buggers. Anyways, yeah. I spooked him pretty good, didn't I? Wow, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, like I said, we are going to have a fire tonight, but we're going to keep it very low-key. 
very low key. I checked the spigot over there by the power outlet, and uh, yeah, it's working good. We're gonna take a water jug out here, and we're gonna keep our fire very small. We'll have two lanterns and a big lantern over there, and uh, we will have a fire that we can cook us up a burger. And uh, we are gonna keep it low key, low key. I don't wanna burn down this beautiful enchanted forest. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it small tonight. But we are gonna enjoy this camp, period, end of story. We do have some neighbors on this side of us and they're up on top of the hill so you probably won't hear them or see them. Uh, have some neighbors down a ways. They're in a tent and a camper uh, down around the corner. And the bathrooms, of course, are back there. I showed you those. Uh, there are four pull-through sites here, four pull-through sites, so you can pull some trailers and some pretty bigger ones. I've seen a couple motorhomes. I wouldn't suggest anything really, really huge, you know, like a 53-foot something, pulling a car or something, no. But, uh, yeah, they do have four pull-through sites, and there are just tons of little sites. I mean, I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I did not know this was here. I thought it was closed years ago. But, uh, yeah, on top of the hills, you could backpack in. You can bring a recreation bike, Jeep, like I got here. I mean, there's other sites. I mean, you could hike in, like I said, you could hike into these in camp. I, I wouldn't recommend having a fire up there, but uh, yeah, you could do it. You sure could. There's a river. It's down, it's a ways back, but there's a river back there, a paint river. And this might be Paint River Campground. Yeah, I think it is. The Paint River Campground. It's Crystal Falls Campground, Paint River Campground. It, both of them will take you to the same site. And like I said, I didn't know this was here because uh, the trail's closed. They used to have a trail you could come in in an ATV and camp. Now you still can, but you got to come down and around. Just call the number, talk to the people. They'll hook you right up. The sweetest people you ever met. Very nice. Uh, clean. It's a nice, clean campground. Uh, bathrooms are very clean. Everything is clean. I like that. You know how I am about cleanliness. Oh. Uh, I did a camp for y'all the other day, and I swept everything. Sweep everything when I put it away. Get out of here. There are no spiders in the house. Get out of here. But, uh, yeah, I swept all this stuff off. It took me a couple hours to get it all cleaned up. There was a lot of sand on that, on that camp. But, oh, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Here we are again. This time, rocks and woods just the way i like it it doesn't matter i love it uh tent site 20 bucks and uh, i'm not sure about the rv site you'll have to call and check it out with them but uh like i said very nice people and almost all these sites are open and there's tons of them time for a few beers now we got camp all set <sighs> cheers my friends good health The weather's been a lot cooler, and that's good. Uh, I'm ready for winter. I love winter camping. I wish this one was open during the winter, but it's not. It's hard to find campgrounds up here that are open in the winter. Maybe they don't want to plow them, and I don't blame them. It's a lot of work, especially when very few people camp in the winter anymore. Uh, I do. I love it. And I did find some campgrounds by doing some research online. We can get to this year it's gonna be a little different it's gonna be a lot more travel involved but they are open during the winter and that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome for me because it, i start running into problems in probably january and february that's when we get the most snow here that's when i start running into problems i don't want to try and run the beast over those banks because when they plow the snow it gets like concrete and you try to jump them banks you'll rip your vehicle to shreds trying to get over them banks so, no, we won't be doing any damage to the old beastie here. She needs a lot of work, and we're going to keep on building her. But, uh, yeah, I did find a lot of campgrounds that were open during the winter, and we're going to use those. We're going to use quite a few, but that'll probably be January February. Until then, we'll be using all local campgrounds, and uh, usually through Christmas, I don't have any problem. It's in January and February it starts getting crazy. By March and April, it's, things are starting to fall a little bit, but we will be using a lot We'll be utilizing a lot of these uh, winter-ready campgrounds. And that is going to be amazing because I love camping all winter. Everybody complains about it. Man, winters for me, they go by like that. I'm enjoying them. I'm out there. I'm doing it. Snowshoeing. I I'm 
I'm doing it. I'm enjoying the winter time. That's why it goes so fast for me. The summertime, I, I get hot. You know, I'm a big boy. I get hot. <laughs> but boy, come winter, oh, that's that's my heyday. That is my heyday. I get to cook in the oven in the winter well. I get to make good meals and everything. Get nice and fat so in the spring and summer I can sweat it off. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun this year. All right. I think I'm going to kick back and enjoy. We'll creep around the forest a little bit too. And we will have some beautiful fire later. Like I said, low key. Just spent the last couple of hours walking around what I call the enchanted forest. <laughs> wow, is it beautiful? The cedars. I can't believe it's just full of cedars, a few pines, but mostly cedar. Oh, and it smells so good. I am very impressed with this place. And it's hard to impress me, but I'm impressed. Oh, got a little cool out here. I had to break out the old the old bear sweater. <laughs> Uh, just trails just all through here and I'm the curious one I gotta run around and find out what's over the next hill always been that way that was beautiful as soon as it gets a little darker we'll fire a pit wow I'm actually quite impressed I was in town weird should have known about this place <laughs> size on the It's not the same without them being hanging. It just doesn't seem the same to me. Yep. The poor little guy. All right, we'll work on that one at home. Well, the other little lantern, she just called her quits. I think the wick fell down inside of that one. I want to keep this fire low tonight. I got the water just in case, and they do a spigot. Just in case. I love these little folding chairs. Perfect for the fire. Perfect for hiking, actually. You can stop, take a break, send your pack off. Do your thing. I'm gonna burn this one slow. Try to get some coals and then back her off. Yeah, I haven't had many fires where I was worried. This is one of them. Uh, hasn't been too many. I've been in some pretty good pine force. Some pretty good pine force where I was. Yeah, a little iffy about it, but yeah. This is like a little enchanted forest. I mean, like I said, I went hiking for a couple hours. It was uh, <laughs> it's phenomenal. It amazes me. All the cedars are just, I've been in a lot of forests. I've been in a lot of swampy areas where you get a lot of cedar, but not like this. 
It's thick. It's even up in here. It's everywhere. There's a few pines scattered throughout. And the smell. Oh, I love the smell of cedar. And I'm sure everybody else does as well. It's a, it's a particular scent that you just don't get. But to have it in nature like this. Oh, I miss much of it. This kind of stuns me. I, I never knew this was here. And that is what's shocking to me. Never knew it was here. And a lot of people don't. I've, I've asked around. People have lived here their entire lives. Me, I was gone damn near 30 years. I, at least I have an excuse. Wow, it just, they didn't know. They all thought it was closed. There's a gentle breeze heading this way. We're gonna have to move around a little bit. Probably have to run from it. What I'm trying to do is get a good bed coals. And I don't want it any higher than that grate. We're gonna be cooking on that grate. Got the little nice table out tonight. I got another table coming and I was watching Luke over at the uh, Outdoor Gear Review. He did a review on a table. I ordered it. We're going to take a look at it when it comes in. Tomorrow morning, I do intend to cook tomorrow morning. I'm going to fire up a, uh, a little bush box stove. We'll talk about that in the morning. But with all of the cedar and all these the twigs, I'm picking them up everywhere. I think the bush box stove would be the way to go because I don't want to build a big fire, not for breakfast, because I have to be out of here by, I think, noon. So, in the morning, we'll fire up that bush box stove. It's brand new. I never put it together. And we'll discuss that more in the morning. But, uh, yeah, I want to fire that up. I want to give it a shot. I've been wanting to try out some of this other gear, and not having a picnic table and everything helps a lot. This was meant for this the uh, grate but I've been using it as a table <laughs> it depends that's why I always carry all the gear I have the beast you can carry it I take all the gear and uh, you just never know what you're gonna need that's why tomorrow we'll fire up the old bush box we'll give it a shot I really am interested in it got that idea from the channel as well I used to watch YouTube all the time I think we all did back uh, pandemic time but I watched it before that even a lot of these guys I've watched for years. I watched them grow. I always wanted to do it. <laughs> and then, like I said, the girls and everybody talked me into it. So I said, yeah, why not? I camp constantly. Especially during winter. And they said, oh, people like that winter stuff. Yeah. And they did. I had one video I should just go nuts from my uh, winter camping. I enjoy it. I love it. We're going to do it again this winter. We'll see what happens. I do love it. I love camping. I love being outside. Like I said today, I left the camera right here. <laughs> so I just hiked around back there. It's just, I'm so curious of what's around the next corner, what's over the next hill. I just, I gotta know. And since there's so many trails, this is like 20 acres, I think. I think it's like 20, 22 acres, can't remember. Anyways, this is a really nice little campground that I didn't even know was here. Like I said, lifelongers, they had no clue either, so I don't feel so bad. Not bad. Oh, the wind finally calmed down, but I want to keep this fire low. Let's keep the enchanted forest enchanted, show. <laughs> It does, it looks so eerie, it's cool. Oh, this turned out to be a surprising little camp. I'm pretty impressed. Gotta watch this fire. Can't make up its mind what it wants to do. Blow into the forest, or burn down my fine tent. <laughs> That's why I'm keeping it low. It's funny. I used to do this crap all, all the time. Never had a camera. Just sat in silence. Enjoyed every camp. Now 
like a chair. It's fun. A sweet little camp we got going on here. Sweet one. I mean, we lost the lantern. <laughs> we'll fix that. And uh, we got our fire really low, which I want it. It's cool. Some people would say cold. Not me. When you close the fire down a little matter and in there, and I shut that, it's warm. One thing I got to say about this thing is very warm. It's actually too warm. Let's get some heat in there. Yeah. I think it's hot. When you're sleeping, you close it all down. It gets warm. Real warm. And these chairs are great. Oh, you gotta be careful. Careful on the old way, boys. But uh, yeah, I mean, when I shut that thing down, it's warm in there. Last night it got, uh, let's see, it said down into the like 40s or 50s. The other night when I camped in it, it got cold. When I come out of that thing, it was cold in the morning. It was condensation, but it was only on the outside. And that was, I don't know, I don't know what, three, four days ago. Yeah, it got condensate pretty good. But it was only on the outside. But warm? Oh, it stayed warm in that thing the entire time. When it came out, there was a the moon. Boom, there it was. I think that's when I got my best shots. I think. I think that's when I got my best shots for the stars. I like surprise camps. That's basically what this one is. Heard about it? People were telling me about it and it was like, never heard of it. I haven't either. Well, I'll go ahead and check it out. Nobody else did. <laughs> That's what you do. If you hear it, go look. Definitely worth it. I'm enjoying it. I enjoy being outside anyways. Brighten it up. <clears throat> I like these little low fires and a ground fire. I haven't had one in a while. Always in pits. Even at the house, I got a little bit of rain. Oh, I could do a camp in my own yard. I got my own picnic table, barbecue grills, <laughs> everything set up right there. It's just like camping, only the house is like right there. I still stay outside. I slept in the camper, I don't know how many times. And the barrow tells me, why don't you just set up your tent out there? I could. I probably should one day just to do it. I probably will. I'll just set it up right there in the yard. I have my own campsite. Believe it or not, in my own yard. It's right by my girls. The two 19-year-old cats I took care of from the day they were born. I was there when they took their first breath. And I was there when they took their last. Held them both until they died. And I buried them right there in the yard. And it's right there by my campsite. Imagine that. It's my own personal campsite. <laughs> I have it in the yard. You know what? I'm going to make a video of that. I, I will do that. I will camp right there in the yard. The barrow gives me hell about it. So I'll do it. I'll do it. And I've done it many times. And uh, I just never did it for video. But I'll do it. I'll give you the tour of the yard and uh, show you where my girls were buried. Their mother was a rescue and a uh, cat. And she had two babies. And I was there for both of their births. Took care of them until they passed. I took care of their mom until she did. And I took care of them until they passed. It broke my heart. 19 years those babies were with me. 19 years a long time for cats. The one passed away first. And it was spooky. She passed away and her sister, Swoo, died one month to the day of heartbreak. She 
she was looking for her. We took her out. She could barely walk. She was old. They, they both lost their teeth and they were old. And she was looking for her and looking for her and stayed right by us. She didn't go too far. But I remember when she was a youngin, she chased me around. Meow, 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 meow. I didn't care if I walked. I could walk five miles. She was right there the entire time. Stayed right by me. Meow, 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 about that big. <laughs> she was so cute. Stayed with me the entire time. Should have turned her into a camp cat. That would have been something. But uh, yeah, broke my heart. Gave him a little, gave him a little memorial. It's cute. It'll always be with me. And when I go to the cabin in the sky, it'll be there. <laughs> I didn't need a camera. Smoke is chasing me. Yeah. <clears throat> well, somebody's coming through. Well, he liked our camp. Called it awesome. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> Told you. I love the beautiful camp. Cheese melt. We got it already melting like crazy. <laughs> Mayo. Good morning, guys. <sighs> wow, this shit's absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm loving this. A little cool. In fact, it's very cool this morning. <laughs> That's another beautiful little site right there. Very well shaded. Can't believe it, this place is just amazing. Nice to take a little walk in the morning. All right, coffee's on. in here I have the little grate that you can use just like the other one for cooking All right. I want to try out this it's new this thing is not the easiest thing to put together but it should do the trick sides on first so it is kind of a pain in the butt then you gotta try and lock it in these. It does come with griddle and it does come with top. I don't need these, I'm just gonna use these here. I'm just putting a pan on it anyway. Go get some wood. Yeah. 
No problem fetching wood here. Oh, good. Coffee's done. Outstanding. Song is starting to poke through the cedars. Wow. She was pretty. trying to get everything prepped here before I fire up the little box stove because then things cook quick. They get hot fast. I used to have a really old one. It was so old it just vaporized. So when I seen, like I said, I seen this one on the when Xander and them were out in Xander and Lost Lakes. Oh yeah. I liked it because I didn't like the older ones so I just didn't like the design of them. Just getting everything prepped up here, that's about it. Potatoes, the onions, get them prepped. It's gonna save me some time. Hopefully this will work out famously. That pan I got is pretty heavy, but it should work out. Oh, the side feed. Oh, just feed it from the right there. I love that. As soon as I seen it, I started looking for it. Wasn't even done watching the program. Get out of there. All right. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Sizzle. Yeah. It's working. Just a little sea salt in there. Mm. Pepper. Texas Sassy Salt. Good stuff. Got pepper flakes in it and all kinds of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Deep in the cedars. That's it. Oh, yeah. 
Just a little ray of light and all that cover. Just beautiful. Well, maybe this little tape will take the heat. We'll find out, won't we? All right. Got our coffee. Breakfast is ready to eat. What a beautiful day. It got cold, boy. Mm. The weather, just weird. Mm. Letting everything cool off for a minute. Yeah. A little warm. It's starting to warm up out here. Doesn't take long once that sun comes up. Oh. Oh. Never did eat all that breakfast. There was no way I was going to be able to do that. relax for a little bit and then I gotta pack up gotta get up by noon got plenty of time plenty of time get some more beautiful pictures at the end <sighs> the smell of the cedars is so interesting you can smell the earth here there is absolutely no doubt about that so if you love to smell the earth this is it <laughs> uh, next time we come back we're gonna we're gonna hike we're gonna do some hiking let's go hike down in there yeah, we'll definitely come back for this one. I like it. <sighs> kind of nice having that water spigot there because I did not want to have a big fire. Nope. We had a nice little fire. We left some snap down that I used to go boxed over there for the next day. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, man. This is so beautiful. All right. I think it's time to strip this sweater and move the beast over. Let's get ready to start loading her up. Packing her up. <laughs> Whatever we are, guys. Uh, you can barely see the beast back there, but it's all packed up. Finally got her done. Boy, I tell you, that sun came up, that tent went real quick. Uh, I just had to explore one more time. Look at this. Wow. You can't get lost in here. Take any trail you want. If you go down the river that way, you run into a bridge. You go up that way, you run into a dam. You ain't gonna get lost. And everything else is uh, privately owned. Look at this, it actually looks like, which probably can't be even a fact, looks like somebody tried to mine there once. Look at that, they removed all them rocks, put them here. Interesting. That's what you'd find when you explore. Yeah, I went through here last night for a couple hours. I just, oh, I wandered around, I loved it. That's it, guys. Payne River Campground, come check it out. People are really friendly, very nice place, I love it. I'm definitely coming back. Wow. So spooky looking. I like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love y'all. Be good. I'll see you in the next one.